They'll be calling you a radical. I wasn't going to put up a video, but this is this is so important that we historically, as anti-nuclear activists, if we're going to be any of you guys, if you're going to be a real activist, then be a real fucking activist. We have to fucking hammer this. This is this is extremely important. This study that come out of Long Beach. First, let's start right from the get. This guy didn't even fucking know what Fukushima was. Didn't even know what it was till a few months ago. It's federally funded. It's a propaganda piece of shit. It's fucking worthless. And they're going to try to fucking pivot on this thing. Now, remember Joe, who's a, he a strong, incredible activist down there with me. We had conversations with this guy on the phone. Because it came out early when they said we're going to start testing the kelp. He said himself, the Furley test we're going to do in January, they went out on the boats, and they'll be calling you a radical. He picked up, he says, we're going to set the background level of the kelp because he's, he says he's falling for this bullshit ridiculous that Fukushima is going to arrive in April of 2014 to the coast of California. What? What? That bridge made it to Eugene in six fucking days. The Tracer Tuna had it fucking in there in ten days. The fucking, hello fuckers, and these are supposedly marine biologists getting paid. I mean, they're pathetic fuckers. It's not a fucking bathtub. Okay, class, here we go, class, you get a cookie, and this guy does this for a living. This is teaching your young, it's pathetic. The Japanese current runs down, it hooks up in, runs down into the fucking Fukushima, pours in, there's an eddy right there, it runs down, it hits in the Japanese current, one of the fastest rivers in the world. Hooks into the California current. The California current runs up and down, swoops up into the Gulf of Alaska, all the way down to the coast. The current goes like this, swirls up, splits near the Bay of California, straight down the rubber ducky. I mean, you can throw it in. So, what they did, and this needs to be heavily documented. This needs to be hard. I mean, really, you think about it. Here we are, a guy with leukemia fucking, you know, fighting for fucking his life for fucking two and a half years, gets out of the woods. Here we are, freelancers. We, I mean, these. The money that's out there that gets thrown around at marine biologists, fucking academia, it's so, it's so, so over the top. I mean, it blows my fucking mind. They have the fucking data. This moron doesn't have the fucking data. This is the dog and pony show they're playing. Look, so what he said, we're going to set the background level in January of 2014 or December of 2013. Now think about that. Now, his study says there's cesium in all the kelp. Cesium 137, 134. Now, you think about that. Now, this is the flaw of this fucking pathetic fucker he is. This fucking guy ought to be in fucking jail. And, of course, he's being funded by the fucking IEA, the Fed, the UN, the fucking federal fucking government. This is part of the fucking dog and pony show. Cesium fucking half-life, how long? He's saying it's from the bikini background. Now, we know what the bikini background levels are. We've known for fucking years what it is, and it's not cesium. It's plutonium, 239, 234, the killer from hell. We know what the background level is. He's going to sit. Now, we know that the background level of the Pacific Ocean fucking dramatically by many multiple fucking times increased in a dramatic fucking way shortly thereafter Fukushima, in a very dramatic way. But remember this and never forget this. And this kills me how we can just go there. These fuckers can Fukushima is on fucking going, fuckers. Fukushima has not been contained. They're dumping more plutonium into the Pacific today than they even were back then. They've been pumping in there every day. This is bioaccumulation, just like in your fucking bone marrow. Just like Alina dies 30 years old at the same day the UN comes out and says, oh, fuck, doesn't kill anybody. This is so over the top and fucking pathetic. Oh, we see no increases from Fukushima and the kelp in fucking Santa Barbara, California. What? In Long Beach. Are you fuck? And he's basing this on background levels. He oh, so he's setting the background level at January of 2014. Really, really, fucking nearly three years. Kept going themselves. I listened all day on 12, 12, 12 with McConnell translated all fucking day. Yeah, the testimony and the hearings, the prosecution before the United States government stepped in and started locking people up. There were hearings. There were trials over there. They fucking pressed hard for people. I listened all day. Tepco admitted. Yeah, we started dumping plutonium into the Pacific Ocean on 4-3-11. Ironically, the same day Kevin Blanche did that video, they're dumping fucking plutonium into the Pacific Ocean on 4-3-11. Intuition, fucking, my fucking path set in stone. I mean, I th look back on this whole, my God, 
I was thinking about tonight. Fate? Don't know. How could it be fate, Tim Shell? Now, mate, I, my path was set before I was born. I mean, it's unbelievable. You're going to set background levels there, and so he's saying from January 2014 till March 2014 did not increase in that two-month period. What? That's your study? I mean, in my freshman class when I used to teach, I would throw this motherfucker out of the fucking class. I'd throw him off the university. Of course, that's what academia is now, isn't it? His study itself says season 134 and 30. Now, how long is the half-life? The bikini atoll bombs were when? Huh? Huh? He's fucked up. This guy's a fucking moron. Now, Joe talked to him for a long time on the phone, had an hour conversation. This guy's fucking a lunatic. This guy's a fucking moron. The fucking cesium, the plutonium, was in the kelp in Southern California in fucking six days. We know that from the rubber duckies. We know that from the fucking tuna studies. We know that, that from the bridge that landed in fucking Eugene. We know that. Fuck, it's gonna last. It's gonna hit California in fucking April of 20. I mean, just like their ice wall propaganda, just like their number four fucking, we're gonna save the world propaganda, all this fucking shit. The bottom fucking line is this Fukushima has been the greatest ecological catastrophe in fucking human history, bar none. The fucking gigantic masses of fucking, the Pacific genocide is very, very real. Look, my activism, I've been up and down that fucking coast. And one thing I've learned, one thing about my activism, the people that watch, the small group, my smaller, oh boy, are they the real deal. Oh boy, are they the real deal. Whether it be San Francisco, whether it be fucking San Diego, whether it be fucking in the Central Valley at Diablo Canyon, whether it be in New York City, whether it be in Washington, D.C., whether it be in Eugene, Oregon, fucking wherever it be, all these places that I've traveled, these people that come out, they're hardcore. They're the real deal. They're intelligent and credible. But they're more than, they're, act, they're not like academians. They're, they, they, they're the academia, but they're the hard workers with their backs, just like my post-ignorance fucking, the definition I've read thereof. I mean, they're out on the water. I mean, Joe spends his whole fucking life on the water. John spends his whole fucking life on that fucking water. They're fucking so in symphony weather. And they're high IQ people, extremely high IQ. But they're different than the academians because these fuckers are workers and they're out on the water. And they absolutely love the ocean. They're not some fuck fucker who has a tattoo of fucking dolphin on their ass. Oh, we love the dolphin. Let's go swim in the fucking dolphins, you know? They're, these guys are the real fucking deal. This study's fucking pathetic. This guy ought to fucking be hung for this fucking study. This guy ought to be in fucking jail. This study's pathetic. This is fucking pure propaganda. And these fuckers pick it up so you as activists and you're the real deal. It's like, I found godlike productions in his blog. He makes some bullshit comment a long time about, this guy seems to spend all his time obsessed with Fukushima. Has he not been watching my videos? Did he not know that I had AML leukemia six months later, de nouveau? Fucking survival rate of fucking less than 3%. I was in the hardcore fight of fucking rights I ate, sleep, drinking. Fucker, you fucking rights I'm fucking eat, sleep, and drinking it. I'm sick and tired of watching fucking people die. These mass murder. I, you know, I love, oh, YouTube. And let me tell you something about all these, this old Marine guy, whatever. I kicked him off my side a long time. Remember this about YouTube. Everybody's going to say, oh, fuck, YouTube's corky. Go YouTube's the most serious genre in the history of fucking humankind. And all these crackpots, I mean, guys that have hundreds of thousands, millions and millions of views, fucking constantly. They're going to be viewed accurately in history. Hash Street's going to look back, all these fucking buy gold, the stock market's crashing, fucking, fucking meters going to hit the fucking earth, fucking this, they're going to be viewed exactly what they are, crackpot fucking lunatics. I don't give a fuck if they got 10 million views a day. They're going to be viewed in history exactly what they are, crackpot fucking lunatics. What are my videos? What are Jan's videos? What are Christine's videos going to be viewed as? Hardcore fact. Documented Hardcore fact. We've been right the whole fucking time from fucking day one. Day fucking one. Eat, sleep, drink it. Oh, right down to our fucking bone marrow. Fuck this guy. All you activists out there, you vloggers, I know who's fucking watching. You know, the print fucking media, you guys, you fucking so-called alternative. Well, why don't you be alternative? Do I have to be the alternative to the fucking alternative? You'll see, fuckers. You, this is not crap. Uh, this is the serious fucking most serious genre, the most serious subject matter you will ever talk about in your fucking life. And I'm the one who's told it in detail. Jan Brooks is the one that's told it in detail. Christina has told it in absolute hardcore detail from the fucking very beginning. Looks like I'll probably be in Calgary next, real quick. So, you never know, man, but this study's 
bullshit. No, because they'll go with it. They're going to say, oh, what they're going to do, they're going to set the background level as January 2014. And that won't even work because it'll still show increases because they're still dumpy. And it will increase for fucking ever. And this bullshit that the Corian blew up, you know, I reported that it blew up, and I argued with Gunderson, it was a fucking blow up. Remember, for six months, people were saying it wasn't even a fucking meltdown. I was the only one saying it fucking blew up when it was a melt. The guy kicked Gunderson off my site in day fucking three because he was arguing with me, saying it was a hydrogen blast. I'm like, fuck you, it's a full bone, it fucking blew the fuck up. But remember this, even if it did fucking blow up the corium in one or two, there's fucking at least six meltdowns going on over there. At least. They were unloading fuel in four and five and spelt fuel, in, or excuse me, five and six. Four crap right off the get, which I reported that fuck. I ain't waiting no fucking FOIA document to come out. I reported that fucking day one. Remember when I used to take the shit in the early days for reporting this four coal full cup mouth out? Fuck, I was reporting that fucking like day six. I mean, logic. Stand to it, but don't let these fuckers get away with this. They're not going to pull this one off. This guy just destroyed his credibility for, I mean, really? Really? <laughs> fucking... Fukushima fuck contamination never made it here till April of 2014. Fukushima contamination was in California in fucking a matter of fucking six days, eight days. And, and remember, that's by water, by sea. By land, or by jet stream, it was there within hours. The plume was blowing out over us. But it's been for the first five, six days. But for the every other day, what are we on? Day 1153, I believe. For 1147 days, it's been pushed into the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific genocide is very, very fucking real. Death via cancer, and if Lena's fucking death, you know, the Chernobyl girl third years doesn't make wake you fuckers up and realize what this is. Fuck this guy, you know? And guys like that, I can tell you, like liars and fuckers throw so much back on when they do get cancer. I've seen it. I've seen fuckers like this. When they get cancer, they die fast. Real fucking fast. They die like that. Stay in tuned.